look at this cute house. Most of the outsiders. It's got a rooftop deck with a banister around it. Palm trees. Looks like he's in some tropical paradise somewhere. In Florida or California or something. And it's a tiny house. Doesn't seem like it's a tiny house. Why would Super Bowl champ Dion Sanders want to live in a tiny house? That's the million dollar question that inspired us to tune into the latest episode of Tiny House Nation, where hosts John Weisbarth and Zach Giffen build the NFL Hall of Famer a 600 square foot diminutive dwelling of his dreams, then squeeze him in. I want to go tiny because I've been through huge and humongous and wanting everyone to know that I'm successful, but I'm past that, Sanders explains on the show. As if these quarters weren't cramped enough, things got especially dire when Sanders' long-distance girlfriend of five years, extra host Tracy Edmonds, dropped by to visit from Los Angeles. Apparently, quality private time between the high-flying couple wasn't easy to come by. Awkward. So Sanders purchased several acres in remote Cedar Hill, TX. It is here that he hopes that Weisbarth and Giffen will build the tiny house of his dreams. I'm a big fan of the show, Sanders says of Tiny Home Nation. I record every episode. Can you say super fan? With typical optimism, or could he be totally starstruck, Weisbarth sees Sanders move from a 29,000 square foot home to one that's 7,000 square feet as a positive sign that he can downsize even further, and will feel right at home in the 600 square foot retreat he and Giffen plan to build for the couple. But once the pair unfurl their lengthy list of must-have features for their tiny house, Giffen squirms. He and Weisbarth can do a lot with a little, but this is probably their biggest challenge yet. Just how palatial can a tiny house be? Answer, very. Check out some of the posh feed. A lot of space in 600 square feet. The home itself is just 600 square feet, but to accommodate everything the couple want, Giffen adds another 600 square feet of covered porch area to the front of the home, and uses the entire roof as a deck. This effectively triples the amount of usable space. Cheating. Not R. Yoga Studio. Edmund says she needs a dedicated area for yoga that's protected from the elements, so Giffen devises a place on the roof, covered by a canvas awning that can be ingeniously flipped to meet another of their needs. The awning on the left that covers the yoga area pivots down to become a movie screen. FYI, a movie theater. When the couple are relaxing, one of their favorite things to do is screen some flicks. So the yoga awning pivots from horizontal to vertical at the push of a button and becomes a movie screen. The projector is cleverly hidden in a drawer that Giffen builds in. A dumbwaiter hidden behind the red built-in shelving allows the couple to enjoy snacks inside or up on the roof. FYI all access snacks perhaps needless to say, the couple want snacks within arm's reach, whether they're inside or on the roof watching movies. Given solution is to create a dumbwaiter with a cooler and snack holders, adjacent to the fireplace, so the couple can access snacks wherever they are.
A dumbwaiter with a cooler and snack holders FYI bathroom with a double vanity and multi-head shower given seems especially mipped by this request, believing the bathroom is the one place where you really have to sacrifice space in a tiny house. But because the couple don't see as much value in a nice kitchen, Edmonds confesses she almost never cooks, he is able to grab a few extra feet, squeeze in two sinks, and devise a doorless shower with enough shower heads to hit Sanders all over like an Uzi, as he'd requested. A dumbwaiter with a cooler and snack holders FYI bathroom with a double vanity and multi-head shower given seems especially mipped by this request, believing the bathroom is the one place where you really have to sacrifice space in a tiny house. But because the couple don't see as much value in a nice kitchen, Edmonds confesses she almost never cooks, he is able to grab a few extra feet, squeeze in two sinks, and devise a doorless shower with enough shower heads to hit Sanders all over like an Uzi, as he'd requested. How it all turned out. In the end, Weisbart tells Realtor.com registered trademark that Sanders' tiny house is probably the most luxurious he's ever built, complete with a spacious bedroom, spa-like bathroom, home theater, and more all of it controlled by a smartphone, no less. Basically it was a tiny house worthy of an NFL Hall of Famer, he says. And Edmonds and Sanders are also knocked off their feet. This is off the chain. Sanders exclaims as they explore the new home. This has totally surpassed our expectations. One way to put it, I guess. <laughs> well, well, this is our rental home. Okay. It's it a little over 7,000 square foot. Okay. Uh -huh. This idea about going tiny, mm -hmm. this has been a, like a work in progress? Right. Yeah. Because you make it, you're successful, so you build this monstrosity of a home, then you start living in it, and over time, over time, you get wisdom. Mm -hmm. And you say, I don't really need all of that. Part of what Zach and I do is really determine what is going to make a tiny house work specifically for you guys. I want to get a sense of your style. This does not reflect our style. Oh, okay. He likes black and red. Okay. And my taste is silvers or grays. You know when we're at our most peaceful is when we're in a hotel room. Because there's an intimacy. Yeah, and that's kind of what we want it to feel like. We want to have a staycation. So I don't like to travel. Yeah. I don't like to travel. I don't know exactly. There's kids. Yeah. <laughs> my niece, my nephew, my mother lives here. There's just like people on top of each other. <laughs> See what we're saying? Somebody's always here. This is my nephew. Oh, yeah. Then my niece. Nice Come on. Very nice to meet you. And this is my sister. As we were just saying, somebody else don't always come. Dion and I have a long distance relationship. I spend most of my time in LA and he's here in Dallas. So when it's my turn to come to Dallas, I stay, you know, at Dion's house and it's very crowded. So I am really looking forward to this tiny house because it'll give us a chance to just find some us time. I am interested in how you use this house. So I'd love to see some of the rooms that you do. <laughs> we spend time in the bedroom and we walk to the kitchen and we go right back to the bedroom. That's it. Well, let's start in the kitchen then. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah.